Houston's Faneuil Hall Marketplace attracts millions of tourists, but inside the Kronk store, Doogie-lish Sand Tiger feels right at home. This is my, my zen zone. This Connecticut native collects Crocs, and today he's looking to add to a collection that has earned him the title of Croc King. So as of this exact moment, before I go shopping, I got 2,186 pairs. And yet, when the colorful iconic clogs first stepped onto the scene in 2002, Sand Tiger recalls it was hardly love at first sight. To about 11 years old, everyone thought they were silly unless you were in the boating community. That's where it was first designed for. While water folk like the fact that crocs float, Sand Tiger was converted for a very different reason. I grew up in the foster care system, so in that system, there's a lot of things that get lost along the way. And for me, I never had the opportunity to learn how to tie my shoes. I struggled with that, and I got made fun of a lot for it, picked on. I'm like, oh, how can I do this? And there was an old lady gardening in my neighborhood, and she was wearing a pair of, I remember it was purple Crocs, and I was like, all right, that's a cool color. That's kind of interesting. And best of all, no laces. So I got my first pair of plain classic black, put them on, loved them. From there, it just started growing one by one. As Sand Tiger grew, signing himself out of foster care in 2007, so did his collection of Crocs, which now feature a number of runway-worthy finds. Crocs does a lot of collabs with awesome high-profile businesses and artists and people like Post Malone or Jimmy Kimmel. They did a collaboration with Kentucky Fried Chicken. And what makes that one so unique is it's actually scented. Sand Tiger scoured his Croc cave to show us some of his faves. This is a newer one. It's a collab with Dreamville, which is J. Cole's record. This is a collab with Lazy Oaf. These are the Mega Crush platforms. This one is a, is a cult favorite right now, the Margaritavilles. Love them, love them. Now this one is a mind blower. So this is one of the Balenciaga collabs. Each clog or shoe, whatever you want to call it, comes in its own bag. <laughs> Called the Hard Croc Balenciaga sandals. Check these ones out, whoa. Sand Tiger is hoping to set the record for the world's largest collection of Crocs. It's one of a series of bucket list items he dreamed up while in foster care. I wanna make sure that this record is mine forever, that this legacy is forever. And today, Crocs Boston offers a surprise gift to help him get there. And Daniel, hey, we want to help you get to 3,000 pairs really badly. So these are gifts from us get to you. Get out of here, I love it. You guys are awesome, high five. <laughs> so now we're at 2,188 pairs, woo! <laughs> like many model car enthusiasts, Michael Ricciardi takes great pride in his collection. This is my 1956 356A T1. But it doesn't stop there. And the real one. Much of Ricciardi's extensive collection of cars, big and small, lives here at European Motorsports in Lawrence, the company he runs with his son. The cars he collects may be foreign, but Michael's story is one of pure American ingenuity. I would actually ride my bicycle to the dump. I would go find lawnmowers that were broken. I'd put them on my bike and bring them home with all the parts in my basement. I would assemble two or three different lawnmowers, put them out in the front yard and sell them. My first car I bought at 15 and a half years old, it was a 61 Corvette. And at 16 and a half, I bought my first Porsche 911S. In 1980, the collection picked up with a roar. I'm in my workshop and I hear this car pulling up. I go, what the hell is that? It was a white on white Lamborghini. I was out of my mind. Michael was supposed to fix the car for a friend, but things didn't go according to plan. I called him back, I says, Kevin, I can't give you the car back. He goes, why, what happened? He says, I want to buy it. He says, okay, how much? <laughs> so we bought the car. From head turners to heart stoppers. It's just a fun, smooth car to drive. Michael's 28 car collection has flair, but still makes space for the classics, including this old Chevy that makes Peter Mahegan's look state of the art. The beauty of this car is it's 100% original, one owner with 50,000 original miles. Though he has the skills to fix almost anything, Michael won't be making any changes to this car, citing a fact some collectors forget. It is only original once. 
All right, back to our Crocs mm. King, Doogie Lish Santiger. Yeah. Love the name. <laughs> he tells us he's now up to 3,109 mm. pairs of Crocs. Congratulations to him. I he guess. said yeah. um, once he hit originally 3,000 pairs of Crocs, he was going to submit to the Guinness Book of World Record. He decided to hold off on that. He's going to continue to grow and collect his collection. Perhaps he'll submit later on. Mm. Maybe okay, 5,000. Good luck to him. Coming up from trash <laughs> to treasure.